Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another vlog. Um, my voice has not come back 100%, so I apologize for the way I sound. But I did take a couple days off from filming so that I could recover my voice. And I wanted to kind of bring you guys with me through the journey of getting my life back on track after vacation. Not only after vacation, but after getting rid of whatever this is. So, I figured i start recording and take you guys with me through my weekend, getting my life organized, getting everything back to normal. So, let's get into this vlog. I'm drinking my second tea of the day. I have to unpack. I have not unpacked yet. Main reason, because I wanted to record it and the subsequent reason is because I took a few days off because I was feeling so sick. Long story short, I started to feel sick in Mexico. It started here with allergies, but they were pretty under control before we left. Then we left for Mexico. It got completely like out of hand. I was really sick. My COVID test came back negative, so it was a cold. I did do another COVID test yesterday and it is negative still. I'm good, it's not the vid, but it is a cold. So I'm still masking up, I still mask up whether I have something or not. I just can't do no mask anymore. I wanted to wait till I was a little better to film. I have not even done my hair as you can see. And the suitcases are still right there waiting for me to unpack. I do pack pretty organized and when I pack to come back I try to put all the dirty clothes together, all the clean clothes together so it's easier for me to navigate. So it shouldn't be too bad but let's unpack, drink my tea and let's get my life back together. This is the dirty suitcase so most of my stuff that are in here are dirty. Most of not everything that's in here. And then my shoes are also in here. We're just going to go ahead and take all of this out. And we're taking the laundry today. We're dropping it off today. So I had to make sure I got this done by today. So we have some of Elliot's clothing. My clothing bathing suits. The bandana I wore when we went, uh, what you call it, four-wheeling workout stuff Ooh. so this is all dirty so I am going to take all of it to the laundromat except for this dress I kind of want to hand wash and hand dry this dress because I don't know how it's going to um, because it's pleated and it's super thin I don't know if it's gonna survive the dryer I think the dryer is gonna get rid of the pleats so I had that happen one time, so I'm not doing that again. But the rest of this is all going to the laundromat. It's all dirty. So these are all the bathing suits I use, underwear, all of that jazz. So this is all that needs to be packaged for the laundry. These are Elliot's shoes. And on this side, I have my shoes. I highly recommend this. It's a cable pack. It's a cable organizer. I got it on Amazon. And basically you can put all your cables and drives in here. I got it just because I have way too many cables. So I utilize them on a daily basis. Um, these are my sunglasses. My Dagny Dover bag. Extra mask that I brought just in case. My gluten cutter pills. So I'm pretty much done with my stuff. All of that is clean, so I just have to put it away. And then there's Elliot's stuff. I think it's all dirty, so we just have to do laundry. Okay, so I'm going to finish this, and then we'll go grocery shopping, and I'll see you guys later. All right, guys, so we just got back from grocery shopping, and I wanted to show you a little haul I did. I like Target and Home Goods. So 
wanted to show you the few things I caught. I'm very excited about them. So I got these containers from Home Goods. Um, I'm going to pre-make chia, blended chia seed puddings. They're so good, but you have to eat them cold. So I wanted a few containers so I can pre-make them to eat them as a snack throughout the week. And I found this coffee mug and I couldn't resist. This is brown skin girl. So cute. Very my vibe. I decided I want to re like do all the plates and the glasses we have here because I'm kind of tired of the ones we have. Then I got this planter so that I can put my money tree in here so it looks cuter um, because I kind of don't like the one that it is in now. And if it's too big for the money tree, I have my snake plant that I can maybe put on here. So I love the design and I love the color and it was only $8. And then, because our frother is about to die, all the Elliot begs to differ. <laughs> I got a new frother. It doesn't need new batteries. It's like bent anyway. I'm not gonna get into it. I got a new frother. It was four nine nine. And at Target, I got this Dr. Teal's scrub. I actually got a wax, as I told you guys in the Mexico prep vlog. And the lady told me I needed to exfoliate three times a week so that I don't get ingrown hairs. So I got this one. It's the Restore and Replenish Pure Epsom Salt and Essential Oils. It was $5. It smells a little citrusy, but it's very faint. I really like that the smell is faint. The other smell was eucalyptus and mint, and the other one was lavender. I don't like lavender scrubs, so I went with this one. Owl's Flavor, or Wild Flavor, I don't know how you say that brand name. They had these shorts, and they were only $20, and so I figured I'd get them, try them on, and see how they fit. So I'm actually gonna do a little try on haul. Okay, so this is pair one. I'm not loving it. There's a lot of space here and I can't get this button buttoned. I want it a little asymmetrical moment, but maybe asymmetrical moments are just not for me. Maybe they just don't want me, you know? So here's the second pair, it's also going back. Mm -hmm. Just a little too long. The fit up here I kind of like it but I don't know and then it's all buttons I hate pants that are like all buttons so these are a no for me um so we're gonna return them tomorrow we have a dentist appointment so after that we'll just go return these it's a new day so I dropped off Elliot at the dentist he has an appointment at 10 I have an appointment at 11 so while I'm waiting for my appointment I'm just gonna go to Target do the return for those shorts yesterday I did not like them so I'm just gonna return them Ugh, my allergies are killing me still this like season change always gets me but um, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go to my dentist appointment and then I'll check back in with you guys later when I am washing my hair. That's part of getting my life back together. I'm going to do like a long wash day treatment type of deal because I've been wearing my hair up and in braids for like three weeks now. So I just want to make sure it's nice and moisturized and taken care of. So I'm going to do a long wash day today. Hi guys, so it's the next day, and I did not wash my hair yesterday, as you can tell. <laughs> we decided last minute we were going to the movies because anything and everything is more important than me washing my hair. So I'm going to do that today. So I'm going to do a clay treatment, then I'm going to do a protein treatment, and then I'm going to wash. So I'll take you guys with me throughout that journey should be fun okay so this is the clay i use is the aster asian healing clay it's a deep facial clay but you can use it for hair as well it basically helps your hair recover moisture we love that 
I have a little bit of apple cider vinegar in this container. I'm gonna put water to make up the rest. And then I'm just gonna split my hair into sections, put the clay, make sure all the hair is like saturated with the clay. And then I'm gonna leave that on for about 30 to 45 minutes, wash it off, and then do the protein treatment. The protein treatment I'm talking about is usually, or it's a bond treatment, whatever it's called. It's the Olaplex number three, I think. But I have the Duke, which is the Curl Smith treatment. Um, it's the same thing. This one, they're the same price for the small Olaplex thing. So you get a full size product for the same price as the small Olaplex. So I'm gonna put this on after. This is what it looks like. And then I'm just gonna wash my hair like normal, do deep conditioning, make sure the hair is nice and luscious before I apply product. I'm actually going to apply my leave-in conditioner, like my my, cream, my styler cream in the shower today, um, just to ensure that my hair is fully wet. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take a section of hair, nothing too big, like so. And then I'm going to detangle it to make sure the treatment really gets in there so we're gonna wet it and detangle it and just go to town on the ear Okay, so we're done applying the clay. That took a little while. I'm gonna now let it sit for about 30 minutes because this side has been sitting on it for like another, like 15 minutes. So I'm gonna do 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna wash it off and do the next treatment. Okay, so I took the clay out of my hair and it already feels so soft. I do have to wash it, wash it, you know, cause there's still a little bit of clay in there cause I put so much but I'm gonna do the bonding treatment first and then we'll do full wash. So I'm gonna sit in with the bonding treatment for about 30 minutes as well. So I'm gonna put about this much of the protein or bonding treatment. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes because we had lunch and then I was just sitting there waiting for my food to digest. But it's been about 45 minutes. So I just wanna show you guys how much my hair has shrunken, which is what you kinda want with these bonding treatments because it's to help your hair kind of recover and bounce back. So this is a good sign that my curls are recovering look at how nourished my ends look so good all right guys so i am done washing my hair it's almost dry it's like 70 percent there so there's still some product sitting on top but it'll dry off but i wanted to go ahead and finish up this vlog here and um, I know it's a short one, but it was kind of me getting my life back together after a trip. So I will see you guys on the next vlog.